Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Presidential Outreach Organization. Leadership needs a leadership. Leaders in pursuit of power along the way the value of life has been disdained. Looking at the wars, the hunger, religious indifferences, something has to be done. The leaders need to be advised and encouraged to continue doing good on behalf of their followers. In this regard, the various leaders, be it presidents, pastors, ministers, government officials, all go through insurmountable pressures. At most, what people see is the negative that has been done or the negative that has been said. As presidential outreach organization, we ask, we ask who took the time to encourage them to be good and to applaud them when they do good. The late former President Nelson Mandela said, if people can hate, then they can be taught to love. If leaders then are bad, as presidential outreach organization, we reach out to them and encourage them to be good. Be good. As an organization, we aim to bring continental political stability, social, economic development, and moral compasses that institute ethics. We also award the social and entertainment industry, such as sportsmen, film actors, religious leaders, and musicians, those who contribute to the welfare and development of communities, creating jobs, alleviating poverty, transport systems, improving conditions for the poor, building houses, clinics, and universities, just to mention but a few. Where there is no vision, people perish. Every vision emanates from a visionary. Presidential Outreach Organization is a vision bathed out of the soul of His Excellency Mehdi Katwala, UN Ambassador for Peace at large. He has a passion towards his vision in encouraging the leaders of today. As a former politician, he has been a former member of the National Executive ACDP Party, former Regional Chairperson of Western Constituency, former Hauteng Provisional Party Organizer, former CEO New Cook Tech. He is also the founder of National Youth Business Orientation Program, Residential Advisor, Gram Revit, German Envoy Ambassador for Communicative Disease in Africa, also happens to be the Pan-African Parliament Chaplain, member of the International Chaplaincy, political life coach and motivational speaker. His passion is to see the vision of presidential outreach organization becoming the embodiment of all leaders. leaders. Among the awards we present are Mayor's Award, Premier's Award, Women Leadership Award, Governor's Award, Entrepreneurship Award, Opposition Leaders Award, Spiritual Upliftment Award, and Community Upliftment Award. In the near future, we shall establish POO TV show, POO Leadwise University, and POO Community Development Clinics. As an organization, we not only believe in the top-down leadership, but also the bottom up. Ladies and gentlemen, today we appeal to you to support us in taking this vision to other leaders in the continent and in the world in encouraging them for the good they have done. Your prayers, financial support will go a long way in touching the lives of many in the world. In the words of His Excellency Medica Twala, the measure of a nation is tantamount to the quality of its leaders. May God bless you as you partner with us for the betterment of not only you, but also your children, children, vision in times to come. God bless. Ladies and gentlemen, we are glad to be here. 
uh, before we invite the procession. We just want you to feel at home. Uh, the way we award uh, our outstanding leaders, we also consider you one of our very distinguished. Just like the word says, where there is no vision, the people perish. But the truth of it also is that where there is a vision and no people, the vision perishes. So both of you, you are important to be in this place. Why don't you give a round of applause to yourself? I mean, you can do better than that. Clap for yourself. Without taking much time, I'd like to welcome my co-host, Lerato, who is going to lead us with the procession. And at this juncture, I'll kindly ask, uh, in terms of giving honor to whom honor is due, if we may just rise on our feet as we honor the distinguished amongst us. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great honor this morning to be able to introduce the following honorable members as they come in. His Excellency, President Jacob Getty Gisa Zuma. His Worship, His Worship, the Mayor of Etiguini Municipality. His Royal Highness, King Quebaha Cornelius III. Her Royal Highness, Queen Regina Kekana. Her Excellency, Honorable Minister, Nosi Viwe, Nolutando Mapisa Kakula. Bishop Dr. Ellen Joseph and Pastor Roshni Joseph. Bishop Dr. Herbert Scott from Brooklyn, USA. His Excellency, Reverend Dr. Stephen Olujimi, our UN Ambassador. Dr. Forbes from Brooklyn, USA. His Excellency, Ambassador Apostle Mehdi Katwala and Pastor Nelly Katwala. Sir Reddy Vivian, Mr. Ephraim Mashaba, Dr. Tim Dibela, Mr. Elvis Shishana, the Safa delegates here within, with, in our midst, Pastor Sean John, Pastor Sadu Friday, Pastor Samantha Mkize, Elder Mendy Chigere and Mr. Prosper Chigere, Pastor Anita Eziemo, not forgetting the Presidential Outreach Organization who made it possible, ladies and gentlemen. Last but not least, why don't you clap for yourself? At this juncture, I'd like to call uh, Pastor Sean John to come and do the opening prayer. To come and do the opening prayer. Would you lift your hands with me to the King, eternal, invincible God, to whom belongs all glory and worship and honor. And we lift our hands to you, the God of the heavens, the God of the impossible. And today we take cognizance of the fact that the heavens opened and you looked upon your son and said, well pleased, well pleased. And so God, in this auspicious occasion, when heaven and earth connect, destiny collides, we acknowledge your greatness over your servants today who became an extension of your arms of love, of grace, of mercy, to lift up humanity. And so may the heavens be open. May the glory come down. May the blessing of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit prevail in this place. Amen.
How many of you are proud to be Africans? I'm a proud African. And I know that Africa, we are not just going to be saved, but we are saved. Can I hear you say, Africa will be saved. Africa, you are saved. By the power of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> the devil has no option but will let go. Because I know Africa will be saved. I dropped my passport one time in the front of an immigration man. And he looked at my passport and looked at me. And started asking me all sorts of questions. And I said, but the man that was in front of me, you did not ask any question." Is it because of the color of my skin? He said, no, just observing. I said, go ahead, ask what you want to ask. At the end of the day, I left there and I was crying. And God began to say to me, you are an instrument. Irrespective of the color of your skin. I chose you. And so don't let what nobody says, what anybody says about you matter. Take your stand. You were sent to be a part of this continent for a purpose. And until you arise and take authority, people will mess with you. I'd like to salute all the men of God in the house. Very humble and I'm very honored to be on top of this platform. Let's it's a privilege. Uh -huh. Can we rise to our feet? There's an army rising up. Come on. Let's go. Volume. This is a cry of war. Come on. Hey. Oh. oh. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm an instrument in this and created to take a step. I'm on a mission with a vision to reach this flesh. I am a scene of greatness. I thrive in darkness. I rule over powers. I'm a demon destroyer. I speak the truth. I stand for truth. Every weapon formed against me shall never prosper. Oh, I take authority. I take authority over the enemies. Yeah. Cause I know that I'll never be defeated. No, no. I 
I'm taking it back right now. Come on. Say right now. Right now. Right now. Say I'm taking it back right now. Come on. I'm taking it back right now. I'm taking it back right now. I'm taking it back. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I see an army rising up in the south. I see an army rising up in, in this nation. I see an army rising up in the continent of Africa. We are unstoppable. Come on now. I take authority. I take authority. Hey. And it's not me. I am a servant. I take authority. Defeat and no, cause in this army I'm set. Hallelujah. In the army I am accepted. In the army I am accepted. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Wow. Wow. Our next item, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Reverend Dr. Stephen M. Olujimi is the Captain of Chaplain General, Founder and President of Faithful Steward Chaplain International, based in Maryland, United States of America. He's a goodwill ambassador at large to the United Nations author. He's a President and Founder of Faithful Steward Ministries International, presiding bishop of P Faithful Stewards Christian Center. He's an author, president and CEO of Agape Healthcare Services. He's a, uh, a healthcare agency for the District of Columbia Department of, on Disable, Disability Services, Washington, DC, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Reverend Dr. Stephen Olujimi. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Wow. Amen. I want to thank God for the opportunity that he has given unto me to be standing uh, before you. I thank God for the great man of God in the house, Dr. Helen Joseph. God bless you. And it's a great honor to be standing right here and uh, sharing this uh, place with you. And uh, God bless you. And I thank God for the day that we, that I met this great man of God, uh, Apostle Ambassador Medi Katwala in Jerusalem, it was a very great day. You met some people in your life and, you know, it's like uh, nothing at all. And whereas when you meet some people, it is a different day, it's a new day altogether. And uh, there are certain people you meet in life and you thank God for the opportunity, and you always, and they make a lot of difference. And uh, so he is such of one of such people. And I thank God, uh, and I honor you, man of God, God bless you. Uh, and I do believe that we will do more together in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the grace and the opportunity of that meeting, I found myself here. And the last time I was here, I had a very great time. And thank all of you for having me again. And this place is certainly, this was not the way I left it last year. I know about a year ago I was here. It was not anything like this. And Bishop, this is beautiful. And I know the best is yet to come. Because I still see a lot of work, you know, still going on. So we thank God. And bishops from Washington, from New York City, uh, I'm very honored to... You know, and, uh, you know, to have you, to see you, to get to meet you. 
And I'm coming back to New York City to see. Coming back. Amen. I had a great time in New York many years ago. And um, Mama, I want to I honor you, God, and I thank you for the good work that God is using you to do. And thank you, another pastor, for taking. I remember you, you know, I was here on, on my birthday March last year, and that was really very, very wonderful. I mean, I'm sorry I didn't bring my wife like I did promise I would. And, uh, you know, Daddy really didn't. They said, Where is Mama? I promise that next time she'll be here. God bless you. I, um, we have a very great thing to, you know, to do right here today. Um, you see, the, the, I thank God for what the man of God has been, you know, saying about leadership and about, you know, service. And I'm going to just briefly tell you about the Faithful Steward uh, Ministry. Faithful Steward Ministry is a ministry that is committed into service. Uh, we had Bishop preaching this morning, there is no one without purpose, but there are purpose undiscovered. If I would put the assignments of Faithful Steward Ministry in a sentence, I would simply say that we are the ministry expanding the kingdom of God through service. And uh, what fascinated me when I came in contact with the man of God in the house is as I listened and I see the great things that the Lord God is doing, I am very particular about the impact in the community and what God can use us to do in this very community that we are in, that we are not just another church around the corner. We have been doing great things, and we just want to look, come together to do a lot more. We are, we are looking and believing God as a father take more responsibility because now leadership are leaders because of challenges and the responsibilities that they take. And by the special grace of God, now, we are here at this very segment of the meeting to commission this great man of God into another dimension of service. And watch my work carefully. Now, we're not going to say, well, our father has been doing a great job and he's been so awesome, so wonderful. As I travel along the globe, it takes some unique leaders to do unique things in certain communities. And God knows why he has planted him here. And so the, the, the ministry or the assignment of chaplaincy is such that it gave us more things to think about and to do. So Faithful Steward is that very avenue where we bring great, great men and leaders together and we walk together to see how we can challenge you to come out now and to be a part of this influence and impact in the community. And so, our uh, Father, today, by the grace of God, now you will be hearing more and we will be talking to you more about this after, you know, today. And uh, to the glory of God, I want to say that as chaplain leaders, we walk with the different organizations, we are not anti-government. We are working with the government. We're working with the police department. We're working with the military. Now, if you go back and look at you know, the, 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 the definition of chaplains you will, and the origin of chaplain, so it is a ministry whereby we come out and we work with the fathers in the land. We work with law enforcement. Now, each and every one of you, there's something special that God has deposited inside of you. We want to fish that out. We want to equip you to be able to go even and do more. We want to stand by you. We want to train and prepare you on how you can influence the community with what God has bestowed into your hand. We cannot have 
the father we have in the house and the heart that he have and you in the house here without this city, this country, this place, knowing exactly who we are and what we are doing. And so in preparation for that, we are really extending the hand of fellowship and bringing our father on board of these very international organizations registered in the United States, recognized by the United States government and by the United Nations as we work jointly to accomplish great things for our people. And so, uh, now Apostle uh, Medi Katwala has been on board with me and we are going to also, you know, kind of do, do a kind of add-on commissioning also today, but we're going to start with our father. So I want to have this very great honor to invite uh, with me right now our father, Bishop and Dr. Alan Joseph. Okay, now, okay. Now, so now before he comes up, you want to do that. Uh, just before the bishop comes, I've been directed to say something. As the saying goes, good wine needs no bush. But before the benefit of those who are not familiar with Dr. Allen's ministry, here it goes. Dr. Allen Joseph, senior pastor and founder of Revival Ministry Global, his ministry spans a lengthy 40 years. He attained an honorary degree in Doctor of Divinity from the Agape Theological Seminary International, followed by a degree in Doctor of Ministry from Vision International University. He is a gifted apostolic prophet teacher and places great emphasis on visions and dreams. Dr. Alan Joseph, senior pastor and founder of Revival Ministry Global, he is a visionary, a challenge-driven, successful professional leader in both theocratic community arenas. He believes the church is not confined to a building, but going out and making a difference in uplifting the lives of individuals outside of the church. He has championed various community projects, to name but a few, uh, providing lunch to seven schools a day in Chatsworth area, food hampers on a monthly basis to 65 underprivileged families, introduced a program which caters for the senior citizens called the Champion of Champions, who meet on a monthly basis providing lunches, recreation, and outdoor excursions, providing bursaries to eight children, which increases on an annual by, uh, basis, covering expenses of their uniform, books, lunch, school fees, First child, Lan Kitsensami, completed matric two years ago and now is in college, providing meals to nine informal segments on a weekly basis. Just a continuation, a Christmas toy drive together with a party to about 400 children, a rehabilitation uh, program for alcohol and drug abuse called Overcomers, in addition to all of the above, he is responsible for developing a discipleship course called Laying the Foundation, which, equi which equips aspiring leaders. In a, uh, Dr. Allen is a sought-after marriage counselor, preventing countless marriages from ending in divorce. He is a mentor to pastors and leaders in the city and is chairman of the minister's fraternal aptly named Amen. He has healing ministry that is now, that is known for sorry, that he is known for astounding testimonies. I apologize. He's been responsible for launching various projects catering for different groups, namely Women of Worth, Men of Purpose, Reigning to Rule, an annual conference. It's up to you, a weekly TV program every Saturday at 8.30 a.m. on Faith Connects, a youth program called Ignite Youth, weekly children's programs called Kingdom Kids, serves on the Executive Board International Fellowship of Christian Churches, headed by Pastor Rema Coley of the Rema Group of Churches. Dr. Allen is passionate about the work he's involved in and is a firm believer in visions and dreams and helping people to engage their dreams into acting and having a positive outlook. Ladies and gentlemen, Bishop Dr. Allen Joseph.
Thank you. Amen. Amen. Um, I, we are here this afternoon at this very segment of this meeting to commission uh, our father, great man of God, Bishop, uh, Dr. Allen Joseph. And uh, whereas as the Global Governing Council's meeting of the Faithful Seward Chaplaincy International, uh, please you may be seated. Thank you. God bless you. Held at the Global Headquarters in the state of Maryland, United States of America, in December of 2014, it was resolved and approved that Bishop Dr. Allen Joseph be commissioned as a, a chaplain of the Faithful Stewart Chaplaincy International, number two, as member of the National Executive Council of Faithful Stewards Chaplaincy in South Africa. And number three, as a special advisor to the Global Governing Council of South African National Executive Council with all rights and privileges as pertaining to its rank and offices in the Constitution of Faithful Stewards International. From this day forward, a we begin to serve as the adversary member of the Faithful Steward International headquarters in the United States of America. I try to be excited and put your hands together. And sir, please raise your right hand up. Bishop Dr. Alan Joseph, will you therefore give your faithful diligence to the functions of a chaplain and to the offices you shall be commissioned to today, as I've earlier mentioned, as a faithful ambassador of Christ and use them for the advancement of the kingdom of God as commanded by the Holy Bible? I will do so by the help of our Lord. I thought you were excited about that. You will put your hands together. Amen. <laughs> will you, Dr. Alan Joseph, then be obedient to the faithful steward chaplaincy constitution and defend same in all ramifications as it shall be in your power to do so? I will, and the Lord may guide me. Amen. <laughs> by the power vested in me by the Constitution of Faithful Steward Chaplaincy International, I, His Excellency Dr. Stephen Olujimi, I hereby commission you, Bishop Dr. Allen Joseph, as a chaplain, a member of the South African National Executive Council, and special advisors to the Global Council and South African National Executive Council of Faithful Steward Chaplains International in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And let the church say, Amen. Here is just like when you stand before the Lord and you know we come as a young man and a woman and 
you will say before the Lord that I do in, in marriage. And after you are married, you sign the dotted line. Thank you. We, oh my, you want to pray for us men that God will help us to do something right all the time. Mama, did you hear what I said? We need, we need your prayer. Amen. That we will do things much better. Mama, you forgive us. I know you will. I trust that you will. Amen. And so, this is the chaplaincy license that I am about to present to Dr. Uh, Allen today. And that will be the very first of the presentations, and I have a couple of them up. And I read chaplain's license. This is to certify that chaplain Dr. Allen Joseph was solemnly set apart for the holistic ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ for the expansion of the kingdom of God, having shown determination and commitment and having qualified himself through the discipline of the study of the word of God in agreement with the vision of faithful steward ministry and having demonstrated a life of integrity and sound character, the fatherly care, faithful steward Christian chaplaincy confers upon a father to the chaplain as long as he maintains a godly lifestyle, scriptural standard of living, and active service to humanity. We hereby affirm him as an ambassador of Christ and of the kingdom of God, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 20. So, Chaplain Dr. Alan Joseph. All right. The second certificate here is a diploma. Now we continue to study, and we and in this very area of chaplaincy, yes, it's a doctor, but there are more we need to learn so that we can impact more also to you in this very area. And I'm presenting this diploma. It reads this to certify that chaplain Dr. Alan Joseph has successfully completed the required course of study in basic chaplaincy in accordance with the provision approved by the Board of Governors and Faculty of the Faithful Steward Chaplain International Academy at the headquarters in the city of Maryland, United States of America, and is hereby awarded this diploma. Dated today, we put on the first day of March 2015 in the city of Durban, South Africa. God bless you. God bless you. Do not be surprised if after today, in a couple of months' time, you will see a father with, with a uniform. But we'll talk about that later. But for now, I am going to open him this name tag, and wherever, whenever he shows up, and he has another way of identifying himself in this very office, but then... Today, this is, this is Chaplain Allen Joseph.
Brother Joseph. And finally, by the grace of God, when the need arises, when the need arises and this we have done in different countries of the world. Some countries, because of the service, I wish that our police chiefs and military officers are here. We are team members with them. In the United States of America, when there is an accident or a situation, when they call 911 for emergency to come, the, the fire truck will come, the police truck will come, emergency medical services will come. We are part of the, what we call first responders. And so when we respond there, and we now part of the things that you all are going to be getting involved in, one part of it is to be trained as first responders or emergency medical services. And so where we come in there, and of course, whoever is in charge of the operation wants to know, they see a new face, and they say, who are you? And I simply say, this is who I am. Okay? Now, I, and of course, all they say is, welcome on board. And that's why we do a lot of training to understand what we need to do regarding this situation. Not only that, by the grace of God, this is not a license for us to commit crime. But if we have an encounter with any police officers, uh, we, we drive lawfully, we do everything very lawfully. But if for any reason they come to say, who are you? And I just simply, you know, say to them, this is who I am. And then, of course, it's going to be welcome, sir. And that is it. And so today, I am presenting this badge also. And this is right here with the name custom made to Bishop to Chaplain. You could notice that I am not calling Bishop now. I am talking to Chaplain Allen Jason. Thank you, Bishop. God bless you. You have a word of, to say before you. Just... Woo! My name is here. Wow. I don't know if I can keep to my speech. I'll try. You may be seated. Sure. Program Director, Distinguished Guest, and our Honorables that are here, His Royal Highness King Cornelius III, the Officiating Minister, Dr. Stephen Olajimi, thank you, sir, Pastor Mehdi, Bishop Scott, members of the clergy, Members of Revival Ministries and the executive members of our AMEN, which is the Association of Ministers of Empowerment Network, that are all here. Thank you for being here. Definitely, our families and our friends, and above all, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who has made this possible. I know I am a preacher, but right now I'm stuck with a lump in my throat, so please bear with me. 
Who would have realized but for the grace of God, the journey of our ministry that has blessed us, myself, both in an academic and spiritual area of giftings and has brought us, you and I, together to a moment in time like today. I am deeply moved and privileged to receive this honor of chaplaincy from the international board base in the USA. I greatly appreciate the gesture of the board who have commissioned Dr. Olajimi, who is also a UN ambassador, who has traveled especially from the United States to do this conferral for me at our home church, Revival Ministries. I understand this conferral cannot be viewed lightly, and as I have pledged today in the presence of you, the congregation, the leadership, my family, and above all, before our Lord, that I will uphold the principles and the values that it stands for as a man of integrity. I acknowledge with great excitement, Doc, in receiving this award. Words fail me to express my gratitude for a day like this that was only a dream, but today has become a reality. For those of you that know me, that's why I'm called Joseph the Dreamer. Thank you so much and God bless you. The vision always emanates from a visionary. Uh, there is no way you can articulate where you're going without having a passion for where you're going. His Excellency uh, Ambassador Medica Tuala, he is the visionary for this vision. I must say, I'm from Kenya. I'm from Kenya and I love South Africa. I love South Africa. I've fallen in love with South Africa. When this man, when I met him, there are two things in life that will change you. The books you read and the men you meet. I met this man and my life changed. I found a political mentor. And I also find him, I found a ministerial mentor. Ladies and gentlemen, he has traveled far and wide in his pursuit of his vision. I spend most of the time with him. I drive him around. And I can tell even for this meeting, there are days we drive and he just sleeps because he's looking forward to reach out to the leaders of tomorrow. This is my about supporting the vision. Let me tell you, if the leaders are not encouraged, whether be it the church, whether be it the businesses that you do, there will not be peace and stability. Sometimes these leaders, in the ascent of leadership, we need to encourage them and to let them know that they are doing a good job. One of the things that he has taught me as presidential outreach organization, the media highlights this side, but we don't know this side. As presidential outreach organization, we want to bring you this side. We want to award the, v the leaders and the visionaries for what they are doing. I do believe that it has taken the grace of God for this man even to be able to meet presidents and discuss and encourage them to be who they are meant to be in life. He is a loving husband to a doting wife and three beautiful children. And you can bear witness when you see them, you will tell that this is a family that supports the man. He has the found, he's the founder of Christ to chapel, the church that supports him, knowing that even as he goes and he leaves the ministry, they understand there is a bigger plan for the leaders ahead. We are here together because of this man. This man has made us to come here and recognize even the outstanding efforts of your own bishop in this locality, Durban. Ladies and gentlemen, I do believe that we have something we can stand and give an applause to him, even as he comes to give us his vision, the vision of presidential outreach organization, and we know that we can support him. Ladies and gentlemen, even as you rise, why don't we welcome His Excellency, 
the ambassador medica to our living as he addresses us as it pertains to the vision Praise God. Amen. Thank you. Protocol observed. You can take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Amen. I'd like to acknowledge the people that these awards have been are nominated for. I read their names even in their absence. We've been in, in contact in their offices. They have signed nominations. I met personally with President Zuma in the African Union. I met other leaders as well and President Zuma accepted verbally and he was humbled that there is such a vision acknowledging leaders for the positive things they are doing because we've done our research. If you go around you begin to ask what our president has done everybody will speak one language because of the influence of the media but uh, we have a researching company that we have researched what our president has done is more than the criticism that is getting amen so as uh, the program directors they were mentioning that our vision is to focus and the, on the good that they have done to encourage them. Now listen to me carefully. If you have a child, you keep on telling that child is ugly, is useless, it will never make it, and that child will grow thinking the same way. One thing that I acknowledge the American citizen because they've been taught to be great from the younger age. That's why every American citizen will tell you we are the greatest. That's why you see every wrestling that you watch, only Americans, they all will be world champions, even if they never fought with all the countries in the world. Praise God. So we have to learn to encourage our leaders and to stand with, with our leaders. Therefore, we are acknowledging the award that are on the table for His Excellency uh, President Jacob Zuma, and um, also His Excellency the Worship, the Mayor of Etequini Municipality, and His Royal Highness the King Colonius, all the way from Cape Town. Thank you so much. Come on, help me to acknowledge the King His Majesty. Thank you. And also, uh, we've been also in touch with uh, His Excellency the Honorable Minister Nosi Wei, uh, the Minister of the Defense. And uh, also, uh, we also very much humbled to also acknowledge uh, Royal Highness the Queen Regina from Limpopo. She's here. Come on, I'll be to acknowledge her. Thank you so much. And also, would like also to acknowledge our father, the visioner of this great ministry in Chatsworth. We've been researching about chat words. We found out that this particular place was taken over by drugs, gangs, violence, and crimes. But thank God for the bishop who did not bring a correctional services here to consume texts people's money, but it brought a spiritual correction services. Help me to welcome a honorable bishop, Dr. Bishop Alan Joseph, my father and my bishop. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know, I always encourage the government people, even the police, they have to respect pastors. Because pastors are doing greater job without taxpayers' money being involved. Praise the name of Jesus. I thought I hear some amen here. Praise the name of Jesus. Pastors are doing great job. They're eradicating crimes, poverty, and contributing to the society and building foundation, family foundations 
with good values. Praise the name of Jesus. And uh, also for the opportunity that uh, he has housed the presidential outreach ministry and organization to award distinct leaders into this house. Praise the name of Jesus. I also want to acknowledge also Bishop Dr. Ebert Scott, all the way from Brooklyn. Thank you so much. We acknowledge your presence. And Dr. Forbes from Brooklyn and Prophetess uh, um, Elect from Brooklyn as well, New York. Thank you for being here. Not forgetting also my first wife and last wife, Nelly Swa Katwala. Come on, help me to celebrate my beautiful wife. She's in the house. Thank you so much. And I also want to acknowledge the presence of this lovely man that has done great work in South Africa. You can Google him. You can find out the contribution he has done to the community, to the society, creation of jobs. Uh, is the man that I've fallen in love with. I met him during the wedding of Kolubusa. Is uh, uh, Dr. Reddy Vivian. Come on, celebrate. Also, his praise is here. We've got uh, the first lady, the beautiful wife, who's going to receive the award on the behalf of Reddy Vivian. Come on, help me to celebrate her as well in our midst. With also the CEO. Thank you so much for coming. And we want to also acknowledge the, in the sport category, um, Mr. Ephraim Mashaba, we have met personally. He has accepted the award as well. And the vice president, they have sent Safa, Safa, Safa delegation. We also want to welcome you here. Come on, celebrate as we welcome the Safa delegation as well. Thank you so much. There are long list, but we are going, we're almost there. Praise the name of Jesus. Not forgetting also, um, His Majesty uh, King Butelezi, the Prince is here to acknowledge as well the award. Help me please to welcome, the, also the son is in our midst as well. Thank you so much for the President of IFP. And also we want to acknowledge as well, uh, the mayor of the city, we believe, will join us shortly. We want to, to acknowledge as well his presence in this place. Please help me, as he's also going to be joining us before the end of this program. We also, lastly, want to acknowledge as well uh, all the pastors, the bishops, all presidential executive members, and uh, the member of Pan-African Parliament. Thank you for coming. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Amen. It's a long list, but the vision of Presidential Outreach Ministry is to acknowledge leaders that are doing good in our community, in our nations, and also in the continent of Africa. Now, we have been acknowledged and recognized by the White House. Uh, President Obama has, has accepted our nomination to be the first black president of the United States and the son of the soil of Africa. Come on, celebrate. <clears throat> also, um, the Honorable Dlamini Zuma, the president of the AU, has also accepted our nomination to pre that will be presented to her in the AU this year. Come on, celebrate all the people that have accepted the nominations. So presidential outreach organization, the vision is to reach out to the kings, to the queens, presidents, mayors, governors, and all the community leaders. And we want to say thank you so much as we embark with our services to reach out to them so that they can continue doing good. We are not a media. We are not going to speak negative about them because even the Bible says, pray for those who are in leadership. Amen. I'd like to say this very quickly that the father of the house still have more honor coming in. Listen to me carefully. We're talking about leaders. How many of you know that that very top position of leader, leadership is a very, very lonesome place? We need some encouragement. We need to let us know that 
we're doing something. And so it's not just, uh, you know, it's, uh, today, I mean, if leaders, as a father, we've been spending time with you. You also be with us, spend some time with us, and let us honor these great leaders. And I thank God for the presidential outreach. You know, uh, 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 you know, this organization is doing tremendous, and I want to encourage us. Let us all support this. The Bible says a man's gift will make room for him and cause him to stand before great men. So when that that is in you, we touch it, and, and then, of course, we bring it forth, and then the Lord God will honor you as we honor the leaders also. Amen. And so I want to call in this very great man of God. He has said so much about, you know, honoring all the leaders and, 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 and all that. I want to say this to you that he also, you know, needs to be honored. Now, uh, he is a part of the team and part of my leadership in the Faithful Steward Chaplains. And uh, we, need, we want to confirm that also today, uh, even as we commission him also and uh, you know for because of him by the grace of God all of us are here and Dr. Paulette Hobbs is here also from you know from uh, New York City uh, to honor this day and then thank God for Prophet, Prophetess uh, Patricia Thompson we just thank God for all of you and we are teaming together to do great work and to expand the kingdom of God somebody shout hallelujah so I have the honor to invite his Excellency, my good brother and friend, uh, Apostle Katwala, please come and your beautiful wife, please step up here with me very quickly. I know you are very eager to honor people. The Lord, we honor you. Where is uh, the First Lady? Okay, all right. Now, um, you, have, you have your bath because I know you have gotten your baths in New York. I just want you know, that, you know, it should be shown also. Amen. I'm not withdrawing it. Don't be afraid. Amen. I will give it back to you. Now, just in the same direction that we have uh, done this, now by the special grace of God, the, the team of this very formidable, powerful team of our Father here and, my, you know, and, and, uh, and the man of God here will take this very vision into a new and better dimension in South Africa. And so today also, as we have just, uh, you know, done with our bishop, and I say again, ready to go, they have more better way. We need Dr. Allen to know today that the world is watching and we are appreciating what is done. So you need to honor him by saying, sitting down still, do not be in a hurry to go. Okay. Somebody shout hallelujah. You can do better than that. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. All right. As you have already known the vision and the purpose of Faithful Steward, I'm not going to kind of go over that again, but you know, it is expanding the kingdom of God through service. And so, whereas at the Global Governing Council meetings of the Faithful Steward Chaplains International, held at the global headquarters in the United States of America. You have been in the meeting quite a number of times. In, in March of 2014, in March, it was resolved and approved that Chaplain Medi Joseph Katwala be commissioned number one as the Chief Commandant of South Africa Faithful Steward Chaplain and also as the National Vice President and Chairman of the National Executive Council of Faithful Steward Chaplain here in South Africa as the one that, uh, you know, come in contact with and brought in this very great vision into this very great country and connecting this vision with the great leaders. And whereas, as mandated uh, by the Constitution of Faithful Steward Chaplaincy, which you are aware of, that by the virtue of its commission and as, a, a, as affirmation, the Chaplain Medi Joseph Katsuala be appointed as a member of the Global Governor Council of Faithful Steward Chaplains International USA with all rights and privileges as pertaining to its rank and offices in the Constitution. Will you please lift up your right hand? And Chaplain Medi Joseph Katsuala, will you therefore give your faithful diligence always to the functions of a chaplain and to the offices you shall be commissioned as an ambassador of Christ 
and use them of the, for the advancement of the kingdom of God as commanded by the Holy Bible? Yes, yes, we. Amen. Will you be obedient to the constitution of Faithful Steward Chaplaincy International and defend them in all ramifications as it shall be in your power to do so? Yes, we. By the power vested in me by the Constitution of Faithful Steward Chaplain International, I, His Excellency Ambassador Dr. Stephen Olujimi, hereby commission you today again as Chaplain Medi Joseph Katwala, as a South African Chief Commandant, South African National Vice President, and member of the Global Governor Council of the Faithful Steward of Chaplain International. We give God the glory for your life, for what you have done so far, and I welcome you again. God bless you. Put your hands together. <laughs> Hallelujah. And here is your license. You, uh, amen. This is the license here of Chaplain Dr. Medi Joseph Katwala. And of course, you have attended, you know, quite a number of trainings and meetings uh, at the headquarters of ours in the United States, and we have decided to reserve your diploma and present to you right here in your own land and in the midst and before your people. And here is your diploma, Chaplain Dr. Joseph Medi Katwala. Hallelujah. And then, of course, we, before you begin to decorate other people, you need to be more decorated. You are doing a great job. I am very, very proud of you. And we met in Jerusalem. I want to say it's a great day, the day that we met. God bless you. Then, finally... not received and you are getting this also today for the uh, for the first time and I know you have quite a number of this award but uh, okay now all right let me just put it here because the way it is done is a little bit uh, you know different and uh, hallelujah and then it's up uh, for it Amen. All right. And then, of course, you know, your badge right here, you. Now, I promise you, I'm not withdrawing it. So, I'm giving your badge back to you. And I know you have used this quite a number of times and has received the benefits of what it takes to have this. God bless you. Have your badge back. And then, of course, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you, sir. And I want to say again, finally, please do, just bear with us. We are getting there. This next section involves our Father also. Put your hands together. And I turn the microphone back to the wonderful masters and mistress of ceremony. Thank you. Matters of government, things happen unexpectedly. Uh, apparently, the mayor, the mayor and the president are in a meeting and the minister of defense. And so all protocol observed, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to begin their words to award the, uh, this uh, man and for what they have been doing uh, in reaching out and changing the lives of people and living the life a better place than we found it, all right? Uh, to receive the first award and uh, 
we have the first award, which in matters of protocol goes to His Honorable, His Excellency, President Jacob Zuma, for what he has done for the community, just like His Excellency has noted. There are things we noted he has done for the people. Uh, we are going to give his award in absentia uh, to be received by Bishop Dr. Alan Joseph. They have notified them, come pick it from here. Why don't you give a round of applause? I think that's honor. Yeah? Uh, the, mayor, the mayor of Durban also has just called. He said he'll come receive his award. Uh, they can, I mean, this is a, it's a good house. Eh? If everyone is just coming here, you know, like, I'm coming to revival. So they're all, uh, we are the bishop is going to receive the awards on behalf of the president. Uh, he's, he's worshiped the mayor of Durban and honorable minister of defense. Uh, she's going also, she's going also to come and pick the award here. So with these three awards, I'd like to call the team to come and we shall present the three awards to the bishop. Uh, his is also coming. So he, he, he's a blessed man today. What do you think so? He's a blessed man. He's a blessed man. He's a blessed man. This award goes, this award goes to Honorable President Jacob Zuma, this award acknowledges his contribution towards South Africa, which includes reconstruct and development program, job creation, land reformation, uh, his part in alienating HIV and economic growth. On behalf of the President of South Africa, ladies and gentlemen, I present the award to Bishop Dr. Alan Joseph to receive on his behalf. Thank you. The next award which we'd like to present on behalf of Durban, it, ha it has become the seventh wonder city of the world. I mean, oh, you like yourselves, huh? You know, it, they're, they're even now saying it's the Africa's leading conference and business place for meetings. It's Durban. I mean, I, I need to come to Durban more often. On behalf of the mayor, of Durban, we want to award the Mayor's Good Governance Award. This award also acknowledges his contribution towards South Africa, which includes promote, uh, promoting of Durban global level, awarding Durban communities for their contributions, uh, the cleanup of Durban and giving back to the communities. For sure, he has done some work to be recognized internationally. On behalf of his worship, the Mayor, I'd like to present the word to Bishop Dr. Alan Joseph to receive on his behalf. We also have the Distinct Women in Leadership Award to Minister, Honorable Minister Nosivire Mapisa. She has been involved in this government. We checked her out way back in the 80s. Can you imagine she was being trained how to make sure there is peace in South Africa. The family also, they serve, they've been there in the service and we'd like to award her for her contribution towards South Africa, uh, which includes humanitarian support to dis disaster struck areas, implementing of the ACDC Maritime, uh, peace missions and security strategic action plan. We also believe that women should be in leadership. I, I thought I should get a better amen from the women. You know, we also believe it's not only the men. What a man can do, a woman can do it also. On behalf of the Distinct Woman Leadership Award, I receive, uh, I, Dr. Bishop Allen just said to receive. Ladies and gentlemen, now this is the main man. He has been receiving on behalf of everyone. Now he has to receive on behalf of himself. 
Amen. He needs no new introduction. It seems today the heavens were shining on revival. Amen. For community and spiritual upliftment award, we present to Dr. Alan Joseph on behalf of Presidential Outreach Organization. This award acknowledges his contributions towards South Africa, of which includes founder of Revival Ministries Church, establishing a Bible school, community program, and youth outreaches. Ladies and gentlemen, why don't you give a round of applause even as he receives his award. This is truly our day. Amen. I endorse all that I've mentioned earlier. However, I want to acknowledge and thank my spiritual son, Apostle Mehdi, together with his beautiful wife, for having made the connection between myself and Dr. Ole Jimmy for the award that I received earlier on, sir. Thank you. And to thank Apostle Mehdi and the Presidential Outreach Organization for recognizing me for this humanitarian award for which I am greatly humbled and do not take it for granted. My thoughts go way back as I begin to sit there and think of the very inception of our ministry and all the accolades that I have achieved over the years and all the credit goes to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Can somebody say Amen? Amen. Today serves to further endorse and acknowledge the work we, Revival Ministries, together has been doing over the years for the spiritual and social upliftment in our community at large. I want to thank my wife, Medi learned that from me, my first and last wife. I said the greatest thing that happened to me was Jesus. After that was my beloved wife, together with my wonderful children and our daughter-in-laws and our precious grandchildren and my family members, my siblings, my brothers and sisters and their spouses and not forgetting my parents for who I am forever indebted. I can only imagine that my mom and dad are looking down from the portals of heaven and if he was still alive today, I can assure you, he too would have been receiving an award. I also want to remember my mother-in-law. She was really a mom to me in the ministry when this ministry started together with Mother Mullen and both of them today are in the presence of the Lord. I truly want to thank God for their lives. And I must mention Apostle Dr. Michael Henry, together with his wonderful wife, Sister Glory, for the spiritual impartation and influence that he's had over my life in the field of ministry, evangelism, a real father figure to us. I've always referred to him as our own Billy Graham. Amen. <laughs> Lastly, I want to thank God and bless our hardworking staff, the leadership or the workforce of Revival Ministries, because this day would have not been possible without you. You have made me proud today. Finally, thank you all.
for attending, families, friends, and ministers, and above all, you the congregation, for making this day a great success. This is truly a momentous occasion. This is making history in revival ministries. I declare that one day our children's children will be reading to you who, are, who have been present here to your children's children who will stand up and say, my mom, my dad, was a member of that church, was a part of that leadership, was a part of the full-time staff, or in whatever area, you, Revival Ministries, has made me proud, as my passion is to leave a legacy to the second and third generation. May the Lord truly bless you from the bottom of my heart, and to all of you wonderful dignitaries that have come all the way to support me, be in our church, and Mehdi, I'm so proud of you, boy. Thank you so much for what God is doing in your life. Stay faithful, continue, and we know great things are in store for all of us and to all of you. I started off not realizing all I wanted to do was preach the gospel. And to think years later, so much has happened. It can only be because of a loving family and a great church that has stood by me all these years, that as I stand here today, it is truly a dream come true. And that if my dream has come true, I declare to you, dream and dream again, because God can and He will. If He has done it for me, He will do it for you, for He is a respecter of no person. From today, dream and dream again and dream big. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, Bishop. Our next award goes to, it's a Sports and Community Upliftment Award to Vice President of SAFA, Elvis Shishana, this award acknowledges his contribution towards South African sports, of which includes projects and planning for 2010 FIFA World Cup, hosting of the only soccer World Cup in Africa, football development, scouting for national talent, hosting of football clinics. May we please have a representative who has been appointed to come and collect Mr. Elvis Shishana's award. Ladies and gentlemen, our following award is an in entrepreneurship award to Mr. Vivian Reddy. This award acknowledges his contribution towards South Africa, of which includes orphans of AIDS trust, giving back to the communities, educational bursaries, philanthropy, peace and cultural initiatives. May I please call forth the representative who's been appointed his wife. <laughs> Our next award is a Sportsman Community Upliftment Award to Bafana Bafana coach Ephraim Mashaba. 
This award acknowledges his contribution towards South African sports, of which includes leading the Soccer World Cup 2010, youth football development, leading the Amaglugluk team to 2000 Sydney Olympics, Netball, sorry, Netbank Kiona Inish Initiative. May I please call forth the representative who has been appointed to come and accept this prestigious award uh, for Mr. Uh, Coach Ephraim Mashaba. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the next award which we'd like to present is our Entrepreneurship Award. He has changed the life of many, uh, changing the youth structure. He has been a blessing even to the ministry, uh, making sure the ministries are being there. Uh, the Entrepreneurship Award goes to Dr. Timothy Tibella. Uh, this award acknowledges his contribution towards South Africa, which includes education of the youth, financial assistance to children and orphans, rural development, philanthropic activities, and assistance to the disabled. And in his own words, he once said that always follow the voice that is within you saying it can be done. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Timothy Tibella. Doctor, you are meant to say a word? You are meant to say a word? <coughs> thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Master of Ceremony. Uh, the, the Ambassador, Doctor, for inviting me uh, in this occasion, which uh, I really blessed to honor it. I nearly missed it, and I've been communicating on text messages uh, throughout the morning. I catch my flight at about maybe 10 o'clock, but I missed my first flight, uh, which was scheduled for 8 o'clock, come from Johannesburg. I, I took a chance, and I wanted to be a Schumacher, and I, took, uh, I put my driver on the left side, and I had to drive myself. And unfortunately, the law is not allowing me to do that. And then I was arrested. Uh, I spent, I think, almost an hour in the cells this morning. And, uh, and I was saying to the guy who was arresting me that, but why do you have to keep me in this cell? Because I'm saying to you, I'm, I'm rushing to the church in Devon. He said, no, but you have to do the work. And as I was busy working there, and I found that the one of the officers, in fact, uh, who, was, who was busy helping me to get me released, is one of those that uh, is our member within our congregation. Uh, you will know that some months ago, we had a tragedy in Lagos, Nigeria, and uh, where we lost so many members of South Africans, uh, uh, pilgrimages, and uh, one of those person who today helped me, in fact, is one of those who were narrowly escaped uh, that uh, disaster, and he was the one today helping me. When he, when he helped me, I think he saw something from me, then he said to me, okay, are you also passing? Yes. So I said, fine, on the day I was there. But thank you very much for, we thank God, in fact, for, for all these things, uh, especially uh, when you realize that there are people that are looking up to you and are looking at what you are doing. And I keep on saying to myself that all the time that uh, I cannot afford to make any single mistakes for anything. Simply because if I do that, I'm messing up the lives of too many people. 
some are know them, some are don't know them. And especially the young ones, the young children, those who are, looking, who are still going up, they look at what we are doing. And they emulate and they also try to do what we are doing. And whatever we do, you might think that no one is looking at you. And the good we are doing, we all sometimes think that nobody is noticing it. But from this honor that I'm receiving today from, from the church and ambassador here, it shows me that we have to keep on doing the good things. And uh, also I have to thank also from my, from my family uh, that participated a lot in my bringing me up. Because I grew up in the in environment of church. My father is a bishop himself and my mother is a mad bishop. So they grew me up with the church values. So I understand the values of Christianity and I grew up in that environment. And I thank them for, for implanting that to me, which I'm also uh, praying hard every now and then with my children. must have the same thing as they did, my, as my parents did to me. So really, it's wonderful. My wife also, for all the times, when I ever go out, uh, she never said to me, where are you going? And she always support me and beg me up. This morning, she was said to me, no, take a house train. Don't go to airport. Because we are, today, we are understaffed. Most of our staff today, they've gone home. For, for long weekend. And we were only, I think, very, very few staff in the house. So no, we are understaffed today, please just let one driver to go to the airport. So that's fine, I'll go to the airport. I'll, I'll go, I'll get to, to Haltree. Then I took chance to arrive to, to the airport. Then because I defy what you are saying to me, this is what happens. Whenever your wife said to me, don't do this, or your husband just don't, don't, must remember there's a weight behind it that says don't do it. It is not that it's him who is saying that. Sometimes we look at him and think it's him that is doing that. It's not him that is, doing, that is saying that. It's the way that he said that. He said to me, don't take, don't take your, the car and go to airport. Take a car train. I refused. Now I paid a thousand grand uh, uh, fine. Not, not fine. Uh, what, is, what do you call this name? Uh, it's a bail. I paid one thousand bail. And they wrote here. And I was looking at this guy when they were writing me to say... Uh, Certificate by detainee. I said, Am I a detainee really? <laughs> so, and this is because I define my wife who said, Don't take, don't go to airport. So, by doing that, this the, the repercussions. Uh, so, what I'm saying is that, uh, thank you very much. I won't be long. In fact, I'm a, if, if you allow me to speak here, I'll be, I'll be forever here. You see, I'll be forever here. And I, I'm one person who ever always want to, see, want to see. Ever since I arrived here, I never, I never had any song, people singing anything. And I said, oh man, me, I'm late. But anyway, I always love singing. There's a power in the name of Jesus. There's a power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. There's a power in the name of Jesus. There's a power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. Thank you. Amen, amen. I'd like, I like to call on the First Lady of Redstone Group, the First Lady of Redstone Group to come and give a vote of thanks. I need to give a round of applause when she comes. Um, I think it's afternoon now, hey, because I got here in the morning. So good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I received uh, the award on behalf of my husband, Vivian Reddy, um, this morning. And it's, I just want to say thank you for acknowledging him because I never see him. And I don't mind not seeing him because I know he's, he's out somewhere doing good work. And for me, that means more. And he's always thanked me and said thank you for being the mother and the father to our kids. So I'm just like so shocked today to be here and to celebrate all these awards, all these accolades to these beautiful leaders on stage. I think they deserve an amazing round of applause. 
So well done, and, and thank you for community upliftment. We're so appreciative of it. And I grew up like um, in front of, I say chaplain now, Chaplain Joseph. He knows that in Shalkras and his entire family and his kids, because I was a kid then. They're an amazing family. They're a loving family, and they're always smiling. So I can, I can truly stand here and bear testament to that. So you have an amazing leader, and you're very blessed to have him. And uh, I did not get any fines coming here. I got here quite early. Um, <laughs> I'd also like to say all protocol observed. I know it's late. But um, I think um, in Vivian's absence, I, I, am, I am the right hand. And I can also acknowledge his COO of Edison Corporation, who's with me, Cindy Mzanza. Please stand up. And we have decided amongst ourselves, and we'll chat to, we'll chat to Viv about it later, because we, we are the driving force. Women are the driving force behind the men today. And, and my love, your voice, wow. Break the chains. Beautiful, beautiful. You, you inspired me this morning. And, and Pastor Forbes, your, I think I, I, I got the tail end of your sermon about dogs and lions and... And that was, that was exactly what I needed to hear this morning. So thank you. Thank you for those words. So what we're going to do is, and Cindy, we'll let Viv know about it as soon as I get off this podium, is that we've decided to donate two of the t-shirts and, and we'll be picking up two t-shirts today. That goes out to the presidential outreach. He will kill me later, but I mean, I am here in proxy, so I have every right to do it. Thank you so much and God bless you. Thank you. And for all the other ladies who want to die today, we will resurrect you, please. Yeah, we are looking forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to present the last award which we have. Uh, cultural leadership is of essence to any national leadership. And we want to award the Cultural Premier Award to His Majesty King Cornelius III. This award acknowledges His Majesty's contribution towards South Africa, which includes unity and peace among the Khoisan, the integration of culture, and the recognition of the Khoisan internationally. Ladies and gentlemen, why don't you welcome even as I present the award to His Majesty King Cornelius III. Kaikuas. You don't know the language. It's my mother tongue. But it's not spoken anymore. Which means good day. People don't know me. And I think maybe I should introduce myself properly. My name is Gaub, which means head. Kuba, Calvin, Denver, John, Cornelius III. Langnam. I'm the firstborn child for 16 generations of the Kai Town dynasty of the Khoi. I'm the oldest monarch in South Africa. And I thank... I thank you for inviting me to be part of your life. Because from today you will not forget me. And I will not forget you. You have aged into my heart something that is valuable. Love. That's what you've given me today. You've given me something that I can take home with me and say that we are not the only people fighting for love. We're not the only people fighting for survival. Because what God has given us as a gift is not for us, it is for others to have. And we need to share that all the time. Ambassador Mehdi, I must thank him. I met him in June last year at the United Nations. I was fortunate to receive an award for 20th Century King's Award of Achievement. And 
I didn't know what for. And like my previous speaker said that often we are acknowledged for things that we are not aware that we are doing, that we have to do. The good that we do comes within us because we are all children of God and God is good. And we have to do good. Because God expects that of us. And because of the good that I do, because I have a big responsibility, I am responsible for 3.8 million people that you do not know about in the whole of South Africa. And what you've done today is you have acknowledged all of them. And I want to ask you a small favor. Whenever you bend your knees, whenever you talk to my Father God, please ask Him to help me, help my people. Because we are the only people... We are the only people in South Africa that is not acknowledged as people yet. We've been fighting for 16 years just to be made equal. And we are not. So please, when you do pray, say, Father, help that boy so that he can help his people to be acknowledged and recognized as people in the land of their ancestors. God bless you in your endeavors further. Thank you very much. Uh, to, whom, to whom much honor is due, uh, we have to give an, uh, a recognition of a word in absentia for Prince uh, Zelatini, who is here, the, the person to come and receive kindly uh, on behalf of the King, Prince Tedes, come. Please give him a round of applause even as he comes. Thank you very much, uh, Program Director. I wish, oh, my name is Mzano Tenezi. I'm receiving the award on behalf of Prince Mangosu Uh Before I, I'm found to have committed high treason, Prince Mangosu to the prince, not the king. The king is his majesty, King Kutu Izoniti Nizulu. Thank you very much. I'm very humbled, uh, Program Directors, to be here and receive this award on behalf of Prince Mangosuk Telezi, the IFP leader. And I believe this award is befitting to him, which is the Good Governance Award. As a man who has dedicated all his life, serving his people, promoting peace, and championing the plight of his people. And while I'm receiving his award on his behalf, I wish to thank the POO as an organization and its leadership for recognizing all the leaders that they have recognized today and also say that their work is not necessarily about recognition but it also encourages us as leaders in different spheres to do our work with humility, integrity and honesty. And that is what our leader, Prince Mangusta, has taught us to do. And from the word of His Majesty the King who is in front of us here, I think I understand today the meaning of uh, the former President Mandela's book, which is a long walk to freedom, of which I believe that was not a long walk to freedom, which started whenever and ended in 1994, but a long walk to freedom which began in 1994. I wish we could all pray that his subject and his clan we pray that God Almighty assist them so that we can have equal status and equal recognition as people of South Africa. Thank you. Dr. Michael Henry, kindly come. Round of applause. Shall we bow our heads together in prayer? Dear God, our eternal Father, we just want to thank you for the happenings of this day. We thank you, Lord, that the honor that has been given to these great men of God today in this time and this age, Lord, has been rightly given, Father. We ask you for the father of this house, 
my son in the faith, Dr. Alan Joseph, Father, that your blessings will continue upon his life. I pray, Lord, this day will be greatly blessed as others have received God accolades and recognitions today that the kingdom of God will be expanded. South Africa, Africa, and the world will know Jesus Christ is Lord. That the church will overtake every government and the government shall be upon his shoulders. Bless us today, Father, as we close this day in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.